Hey guys, how you all doing? So I just got home from school and I have a package waiting. Now this thing is absolutely huge. It is over seven pounds and I am really excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's get started by tearing off or cutting through this packaging. Now, this is a pretty big order, probably the biggest order we will have on Takodana. Um, and there's a lot of interesting and cool pieces that will be inside of here. So just put it over to the side. Right, so get the bubble wrap out of the way first and uh, we'll get into the contents. Okay, number one, an absolutely huge bag of parts. So I'll just put this over to the side so you can see it. And then bang, bang, wow. I knew I ordered a lot, but I have never, ever ordered this much. Let's get into it. All right, so starting off the list, we have in here, if I just check the BrickLink invoice very quick, 200 of these one by two bricks. Now that is quite a big number. These will be used primarily for building Maz Kanata's castle, of course. Now I didn't want to do multiple orders, which is why I tried to get as many as I could from one seller, and hopefully this should be enough for what I'm using it for. Also continuing along the lines of bricks, we have in here 81 by six bricks, and these again will be used for Maz Kanata's castle. Now, also Maz Kanata's castle will be these two next things, which are going to be the main reason why I actually went to this store. So in this bag right here, I have 110 of these slopes. Now these are going to be the main slopes that compose the entire castle. So these are very, very important to the building progress. Without these, I couldn't build the castle. So uh, this should be enough. Hopefully I won't need to order any more. And then in here is going to be 253, so I bought him out, 253 one by two slopes, and of course these are also going to help with the castle, so these four packages right here, or bags I might say, will be used only for the castle, and it should help us get a lot of progress done. Continuing on with the haul, we have in here 42 of these earth, or sorry, medium dark flesh two by four bricks, and these are just going to be used splashed about the castle just to give slightly different tones. I didn't want everything to be boring dark tan, so just throwing in a little bit of other colors in there. Now in here are going to be, actually I'll take these ones out because they are a little bit different. Now these are a little bit like a two by four slope, um, but they do have, well, it's it's almost like a two by four and then a two by four slope put together. And these were a really good price. And of course, I'll put a picture on screen, but taco down at the top of the castles on the towers, um, you do see a little bit of black there. So I think these pieces will be very useful for capturing that image. Uh, but then up next, we do have a ton of wedges. Now I absolutely love wedges. They are so incredibly useful. But in here we have 92, I believe of these wedges, so going to be used all over for the paths and of course the castle itself. And then in this bag, we have 55 of these uh, more corner ones, but they are fairly large, so again, for the paths, and these are going to really help making different dimensions and layering effects so that not everything is one level and it looks a little bit more detailed. So now onto this huge bag that you see in front of you right now. This has got the remainder of the order and it's pretty big so uh i guess we'll just jump straight into it i don't really know how we start um but i'd like to just thank the bricklink seller for this packaging job really really well done i appreciate when people bag things in good quality bags and just really nicely so sorry i just knocked the tripod right there okay so in this first bag we have some one by two plates uh i have in here 96 of them and these will be used for the shoreline, as you might see over here in the corner. Um, but these will help out a lot. Some more wedges here. Uh, I believe this is the left side and this one was the right side over here. Um, now these are going to be some, I guess you call them curved plates, not really wedges. Uh, but they give the same effect to me. And these will just be used all over uh, the mock for detail in the paths and other such things. Um, but just overall, they're very useful pieces and the price was not too bad. Now this piece I picked up because I think it would be really cool in the castle. Now, 
I forget what they're called, but I believe there's something around battlements or something like that. So where the people stand behind them, I think this will just give a little bit of nice detailing. I will um, put it on its side. So here will be the wall and I'll put it on like that and just give a little bit of an extra detail. I think this piece really does look cool. Um, but then going through a little bit faster here, we have a uh, four by 10 plate or something. Uh, some dark green wedges and then the other dark green wedges that match it, them. We have some more black slopes that will go with uh, these ones over here. So just more black slopes overall. Some medium flesh, medium dark flesh, two by two bricks uh, to go with the other ones. Of course, those are, most of these pieces, I might say, it's not like I absolutely needed them for a specific purpose. There's more like, I know I'm going to use these pieces, uh, so I just got a big quantity and whatever I use, I use, and whatever I don't, I use them for future moths. Uh, but over here are going to be something I consider fairly useful. They are going to be hinge bricks. Now the reason why I got these is because in the castle it's not all angular or at right angles. There's going to be things at 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and it's kind of confusing. So I thought I would get these and then hopefully that will help me connect all of these sections so that they don't fall apart. Now some more medium dark flesh bricks over here. These are some more just bricks to play around with the colors in the castle. And then over here, we have some slopes, but in this earth orange color. I really like these colors over here, the earthy tones. They really pop out well to me. Here's some one by ones. Over here are some two by two dark tan jumper plates. I'm going to be used mainly for when I tile everything off and I need a place to put my minifigures. They can hook on like this. I got some olive green curved slopes. I think just some little extra details in the forest. And then on the same note, we have some light bluish gray uh, curved slopes. And these ones will be used more for the structures or battlements that you see in the forest. And then here are some light bluish gray inverted slopes. And this, I will not open it up, but I'll picture, I'll put a picture for you guys on screen. These are some flags that will be used in Maz Kanata's castle. I'd like to keep them in this box until I need them. Next up, we have some crates because there's always going to be ammunition or supplies lying about. It's just a nice addition to the mock. We have a few slopes for more rock work. Over here, we have some corner or I believe it's convex slopes right here. So when I'm building the towers, uh, just a little bit of some extra detail right there if I can get it to focus. There we go, that's what that piece looks like. And just very quickly, you might be bored by now, but I'll try and go through a little bit quicker. Here are some more crates that are going to be thrown in. Some one by six plates, some more slopes uh, in dark bluish gray. Now over here we have some modified one by two plates, um, and these will just be used for a little bit more detail and accents to the build. There's going to be some more wedged plates, some dark tan plates, some more dark tan plates, two by threes and two by twos. Here are going to be some slightly larger dark tan plates that will be probably used in the castle. In this bag we have some uh, six by eight plates and these are going to be used for the paths outside. We have a whole bag of 60 of these one by six plates and again, just more plates to be used across the mock. It's going to be very useful. Here are some one by eight. There are 59 of these in here. And then wrapping up this, we have a few more plates in some medium flesh color. Some olive green slope just to add a little bit of difference in the forest. I didn't want everything just to be normal colored rock. Give it a little bit of an extra flair. We have some normal tan wedges that can be used along the shoreline in the beach. And then finishing it off, we have some reddish brown wedges. Okay guys, and now just for a very quick sum up of what we got. Now you can see the majority of this haul is going to be dark tan and then we got some earth orangey colors and then the rest of the pieces right here. But just a very, very quick sum up. Over here we have all of the slopes, the uh, larger ones, two by twos. Over here we have the bricks. All over here is going to be all the plates. These are all of the wedges and curved plates over here for the paths. Now over here is going to be mice, mostly the earth orange and medium dark flesh bricks that will be used to accent the main dark tan in the castle. We have some brown, some crates over here, a little bit of olive green and dark green in the forest just to give it a different look. 
some slopes and some inverted slopes and other miscellaneous stuff over here. Okay, so that's it for this haul video. Now, there's definitely a ton of pieces in front of me that will be super fun and useful to implement into the mock over the upcoming weeks. But with that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please go and consider subscribing. Give this video a like. See you in the next video. Goodbye.